Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixim Perfect. Thank you so very much for joining me for this video. My apologies in advance if this video offends somebody. Please understand that the tool that you're most comfortable with is actually the best tool. As long as it gets your job done, that's all that matters. This video is just about me sharing my personal opinion about what tools are more or less efficient. This one specifically is about the levels. Levels I feel is absolutely useless tools and I'm going to share with you eight reasons why I feel so. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and please allow me to start by saying this. If you have the almighty curves, why do you need a sub almighty tool, right? This brings us to our very first reason. Levels is lesser than curves. In other words, we can say that everything you can do with levels, you can do with curves and even more. Let me share with you some examples. So here we have a very simple gradient. Now I have boxed individual colors so that it's easier for you to understand. All right, so let's create a levels adjustment layer and a curves adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves first and then choose levels. This is just for comparison. All right, now, Let's work with levels right here. Now in the levels, you will see three sliders, right? If you take the left slider to the right, it will make the dark areas darker. It begins to lose details in the dark areas. As you can see, as I take the slider to the right, see we are losing this color. It's becoming absolutely black. In other words, we are losing details. Similarly, if you take this slider to the left, the rightmost slider to the left, we are losing details in the bright areas. It's making the bright areas brighter. Now, if you open curves, you have the same sliders. Have a look at it. So this slider right here, if you take it to the right, it makes dark areas darker. And this one makes bright areas brighter. The exact same thing. Now you might say, Unmesh, there is this middle slider inside of levels. What about it? It's not there in curves, so levels is absolutely superior. Here's the thing, my friend. If you take the middle slider to the right, it takes the midtones down. All right. If you take the middle slider to the left, it takes the midtones up. Now, let me show you the same thing inside of curves. If you create a point in the middle, just make sure, first of all, that the input is 128 if you want to be extra sure. And if you take the point to the right or the left, it is exactly the same thing. Now inside of levels, you have a couple more sliders here as well. So you have this slider, which makes the dark areas brighter. And this one makes the bright areas darker. All it's basically doing is that it's adding black and white to the image. That's it. Trust me. Similarly on curves, you have the same thing. If you take the leftmost point up, it'll make the dark areas brighter. If you take the rightmost point down, it'll make the bright areas darker. If you take it all the way down, it'll, the image will become black. So all it's doing is adding black and adding white right here. Now, just as in levels, you have the three eyedroppers. In curves as well, you have the three eyedroppers. Now, we just talked about the standard features. Curves can do way more than that. So in this case, if we create a levels adjustment layer, and let's say you only wanted to brighten this level of brightness, there is no way to do it in levels. You would have to just brighten the bright areas. Whereas in curves, you have the flexibility to do so. So if you create a curves adjustment layer, you can just use the hand right there to figure out where does this fall in the range. So you can click there. So now I know where does this fall and I can brighten just that area. Now, along with it, other areas are being brightened. So I can just bring other areas down to its normal diagonal position. That's it. So only that area is being brightened without blowing out the details in the highlights or even the shadows if you are going that route. All in all, what I'm saying is inside of levels, you just have these three variables, right? Whereas if you're working with curves, you have so many points that you can just play with. At any point in the range, you can manipulate that. Now, as I told you before, everything levels can do, curves can do as well even when it comes to automatic adjustments. So if you open up levels and if you click on this grid right there, you have auto options. So you have a couple of options to just enhance it automatically. 
right? And we have talked about this in previous videos. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you open up the curves adjustments and open up auto options here, these are the same options. As I told you, levels is just a simplified version of curves. That's it. Moving on to our second reason, which connects to our first, and that is curves has the ability to pick any point in the brightness level range, whereas levels does not. Let me show this to you. So similarly, as we showed you before in the gradient, let me share with you the real world example of it. So if we create a levels adjustment layer here, we can only make the darks darker and the brights brighter and adjust the midtones here and there. All right. However, if you choose curves, you can create intricate curves, intricate adjustments inside of brightness levels and not only the RGB channel, but also red, green and blue. Levels also gives you red, green and blue channel, but not with this level of customizability. If we wanted to brighten this area, but at the same time, we wanted to darken the midtones. At the same time, we wanted to brighten the shadows. And at the same time as well, we wanted to darken the extreme shadows. We can all do that with curves. Now it might look very ugly, but it is a very good adjustment for black and white adjustments. So if I create a black and white adjustment layer on top of it, it looks really cool on that. These kinds of adjustments. It really gives us a lot of control as to what we want to achieve in our image. Moving on to reason number three, and this is actually a big one. Levels does not have the scrubby hand, which is very convenient in curves. Let me share with you an example. So here in this case, let's say you wanted to brighten this area and then you wanted to darken this area. So instead of having to open the levels adjustment layer and trying to play with the midtones right there and making the dark areas darker and just trying to figure out a balance here, you can just edit it visually with curves. And this is how you do it. If you create a curves adjustment layer instead, you don't even have to worry about the curves right here. So you can choose the scrubby hand and if you wanted to, let's say, brighten this area, just click here, right? Just click there and drag it up. It makes that area brighter. If you wanted to make this area darker, just click there and drag it down. It makes that area darker. If you want some details in what the black top she's wearing, just click there and drag it up. You have some details there. Super cool, isn't it? Super convenient. Now, if you want to make some color adjustments as well, you can do it here too. So let's say we want to reduce the reds in these dark areas. So let's go to the red channel. Simply just make sure the scrubby hand is activated. Just click and drag it down. That will reduce the reds in that area. Now, extreme shadow areas, as you can see, are becoming very greenish. So we want the red back there. So you can click and drag it up to bring it back right there. It's still looking green. So you can go to the green channel and just click there and bring it down. You see how much adjustments we can make here? Now, this is not an example of perfect color grade, but I'm trying to show how easy it is to work with curves. There is no way to do this inside levels. So if you open up the levels adjustment here, have a look, there is no scrubby hand there. There's no way you can pick a point in the image and edit it right there on the image, not having to meddle with the sliders or the curves. Let's move on to reason number four. It is very difficult to increase the contrast using levels without blowing out the details in highlights or shadows. Make sense? No? Let me share with you an example. So in this case, let's say you wanted to increase the contrast, but without losing the details in the shadows. Because she's wearing a dark top, it is very easy to lose details there. So if we create a levels adjustment layer, the only way here to increase the contrast is taking these sliders closer, the leftmost slider and the rightmost slider and bringing them closer, making the darks darker and the brights brighter. Now, after a point, the contrast looks pretty fine. Maybe I'll take this slider a little more to the right to have more details in the highlights, but have a look. We are losing details on her top. If we take it any further, take a look. We have absolutely lost details here. The contrast is good, but we have lost the details in her top. With curves, you have the ability to keep the details here intact. You can increase the contrast in such a way that it does not blow out the highlights or the shadows. So with curves, first of all, let's create a curves adjustment layer. You can just create a point on the right hand side, take it up, 
create a point on the left hand side take it down just the basics of contrast by doing that have a look look at the extreme shadow areas they're still at the same place we are not making it even darker if you do this you will start losing details here we were doing this with levels because we had no other option but with curves we don't have to do that we don't have to take the leftmost point and bring it down even further we can take a point closer to that and bring it down instead so that way we are not losing details in these areas no matter how low we bring it have a look the contrast here is even more but still we are not losing details in her top moving on to reason number five with the absolute customizability of the curves adjustment layer there are so many interesting effects possible that can never be done with levels let me share with you one you can also choose the pencil right here and create your own curve so instead i'm going to create a zigzag right there so i can create a pretty nice zigzag have a look look at it it's pretty creative isn't it now it might not look interesting but wait till i make it black and white so if we create a hue saturation adjustment layer or a black and white adjustment layer take down the saturation and take a look at it this can be transformed to a perfectly amazing watercolor effect so i'm going to take it a little further right there or do something like this make a zigzag like this this looks interesting now after that we can create one more curve and maybe we can do one more something like this okay this looks interesting now we can work watercolor with it how you might ask it's pretty darn simple now first of all let's unlock the background layer group all of it select the first one hold the shift key select the last one press ctrl or command g now in the background we want something so let's create a solid color adjustment layer we can create a white solid color adjustment layer place it in the background right this is just like a background paper now let's create a negative mask for this group so hold the alt key or the option key click on the mask button to create a negative mask then all you have to do is to take the brush and take a few watercolor brushes and start painting so just paint with white keep on painting make sure you have flow and opacity to 100 so we have the first brush right there take different kinds of watercolor brushes and by the way these are some brushes that i downloaded off of the internet if you are interested you can check the links in the description those uh, links have details as to where i bought them or downloaded them some even i don't remember so you can just keep on painting and create this cool effect let me share with you i took some time to do it and this my friend is our final result i simply placed it on a piece of paper by using the multiply blend mode and a little bit of blend if that's it but the point is there are so many interesting effects you can do with curves which are absolutely impossible with levels just because of that one reason and that is you have the ability to pick any point in the range while in levels you just have three variables moving on to reason number six in curves you have the ability to draw your own curve levels does not have that so if you create a curves adjustment layer take a look here's the pencil right there you can draw your own curve so let's say you felt like i wanted a little more contrast and a little more darkness in this so you can simply draw a curve like that so i want to just make the highlights a little more brighter right and as you do that constantly you will see the change in your image i want to make the darks a little more darker and the shadows a little more darker i want to create a curve something like this now you might see some sharp changes with colors because this curve is hand drawn and there are so many little ups and downs it's not very smooth so how do we make it smooth there's also an option to do that have a look at this this is the smoothen option just click on that and the curve becomes smooth now if you want to adjust it with points you can do it as well if you go back to points by clicking on this button points are automatically created for it so then you can adjust it according to your choice and take a look at it it's looking pretty darn interesting isn't it so here's the before here's the after that's also pretty good look coming to reason number seven my friend and it is simply this it's easier to learn one master tool than learning different types of it because if you learn one master tool brilliantly if you just absolutely have complete control over it and if you learn the skills to use it you will automatically learn all its subsidiaries or in other words all different kinds of tools which are based on it you will come across lots of software programs that use something that is based on curves once you learn curves you will have a command over all of these tools eighth and the last reason to not use levels and focus on curves 
And the reason is, you will find this tool on every professional visual editing software. Whether it is Photoshop, whether it is Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or any software there is, even GIMP or GIMP, I don't know how to pronounce it, Affinity Photo, whatever there is, Lightroom, everywhere, every visual editing software, I must say professional ones, have curves. Why does it have curve? Because it knows, the software knows, the people who make the software, they're very brilliant to know that Curves is the only tool which is the most versatile when it comes to not only playing with colors, but also light. To sum this video all up, Levels is just like having the bass and the treble knob on your speakers. And Curves is like having the complete equalizer. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.